Trump posts $175 million bond in New York civil fraud case. Dang it, he came up with the money a couple days early. Report show Donald Trump has posted $170 million bond in his New York civil fraud case. According to ABC News, Trump secured the bond through Knight Specialty Insurance Company. Um, that night jumps out at me, but I'll do it. It's just how, that's the way my mind works, okay? I'm just telling you the name of the company. It's the way my mind works. MSNBC legal expert Lisa Rubin posted on X that Knight Specialty Insurance Company is owned by, well, this guy. His name is Don Henke, the so called king of subprime car loans. I think that's where you pay a lot of money because your credit's not up to par. Am I right? I think that's what happens. You pay a ton of money, other people get rich, and the car's not that great anyway. Okay, maybe I added the last part. Ruben also pointed out that Hanky, who is number 128 on the Forbes 200 or 2023 rather list, and number 317 on the 2023 Forbes billionaires list, made his money in auto services. But he's also believed to be the largest shareholder in Axos Bank. It's a financial institution that refinanced Trump's loans on Trump Tower and Doral. In 2022, specifically, Axos has loaned Trump 100 million in his refinancing of Trump Tower and another 125 million for Doral. A raw story with the details there. Translation, no matter how bad you are at business or whatever, you need it. They all hang together, they all do each other's favors, okay? You need it though. Maybe you only need $5,000, which is still a lot of money. You need $5,000. Just to hold the line, keep your family afloat, and then you'll be okay. Everything will balance out and you'll be okay, right? Just a decent term loan. No, you were late on two payments three years ago. Am I talking about me or you or both of us? Okay, this is how it works when you're not part of that crowd, you don't have that privilege. With millions watching. And many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable. We just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Originally, Trump would have been responsible for the full damages amount of over $450 million as a bond while he appealed the case. Should have been. But with hours to spare before New York Attorney General Letitia James would have been empowered to start seizing Trump's real estate holdings, an appeals court gave him. 10 more days and reduce that bond to 175 million. Trump's lawyers had argued that the former president lacked the cash to secure a bond for the full judgment after being rejected by more than 30 bond companies. That reported by Aaron Katursky and Peter Cherumbus. Without intervention from an appeals court, defense lawyers argued Trump would suffer irreparable harm by having to sell off his namesake properties before he exhausted his appeal of the fraud ruling. I, to that, I, well, I say so. <laughs> what would happen to you? Well, I don't understand why this is, where's the fire? I don't see the <laughs> fire, okay? Things are cool, it's great. Other money troubles, Trump's net worth fell by 1 billion after shares of True Social. <sighs> this is this guy, I mean, this is like, um, what do you call it? In my opinion, pyramid-like. It's pyramid-like. Trump's net worth fell by a billion after shares of true social owner Trump Media and Technology Group fell Monday after reporting big losses and little revenue last year, according to CNN. Shares of Trump Media fell 21% on Monday, though they are still up nearly 200% this year, according to the report. The drop fell after the company and a regulatory filing said it lost. 58 million in 2023. Lost, I kind of glossed over that. They lost 58 million last year, okay? Compared to a profit of 50 and a half million in 2022. Trump owns 78.8 million shares in the new company. The stake is now worth 3.8 billion. That's down from 6.3 billion just last week. Salon with the reporting. Is it really worth 3.8 billion? Y'all, come on, stop it, okay? FCC, right? Is that, or is it SC? Senator, help me. Who's the governing body that should be looking 
into this evaluation here where it's one guy wildly tweeting, okay, uh, 75 times in 24 hours. One guy is propping this up, and now the evaluation is 3.8 billion. Let's pause there, Senator, because should someone be looking into this? And that's his pattern. I mean, that's what he's in trouble for in New York. Mm. So he has not learned his lesson. I sigh deeply, Sharon, because I can't curse deeply on the show, but I really do sigh about this. This man has more than nine lives. I mean, seriously, just when you think that this is it, it is not it. And the point that you made about the person or that company, Knight, Night specialty insurance. I was right with you on that. My mind went straight to the night. Yeah. Hey, I get by with a little help from my friends. And, mm-hmm. and it's no different from Donald J. Trump, too. I mean, we have friends as individuals. People have friends that come to your rescue. And for him, this is a, a friend coming to his rescue in his time of financial need. Now, this is not the path that everyday ordinarily ordinary Americans can take, but it's certainly the path that Donald J. Trump is taking in this moment. This is a case study right here, Sharon. You want to talk about social scientists are studying this man and what he has been able uh, to pull off. Nine lives, more than nine lives, I tell you. Yeah, it is. It's beyond like, uh, what was it, the Wizard of Oz, then the curtain comes back. Yes. You know, this this whole scheme. And don't forget, he was um, the perfectly coiffed, the blonde lady with the Glasses, E. Jean Carroll. He owes her about $83 million too. Oh, but yeah. I'm so tired. I heard it again this morning where the legal pundits were saying, oh, look, he is being held accountable and they've got to be methodical. Da, 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 da. What are you talking about? It's been years since people stormed the Capitol. They defecated. They put their feet on Nancy Pelosi's desk. They stole mail. Okay. A woman was killed. A police officer lost his life. People were injured. A mob, treasonous, stormed the Capitol. And that's just one thing, okay? He used those documents for toilet tissue down in mar a Remember that? Why were they in the bathroom? And why were you asking about the surveillance footage and how long it would uh, stay? Why were you asking people to creep in the night and, you know, like talking like a mobster, like we don't understand, we can't read between the lines? It's taken years. They, you know why it's taken years, Senator? Because in my view, they didn't want to do it. So stop telling us that justice for all and he will, justice will be served. We've all, justice is not going to be served because it took this long and it appears he'll run out the clock and nobody's gonna hold him accountable. Even as he talks about the latest criminal trial judge's daughter and puts her life in danger. But hey, it is what it is. I mean, Trump. Oh, the man has never matured past teenage mm, years. I tell yeah, you, and I'm yeah. sorry, I'm not trying to disparage teenagers. I know, but this, this, this is really who we're dealing with right now. So fascinating, academically, not so much politically. I mean, we're gonna have to live with the consequences of what is happening in 2024. And Sharon, you know this, and probably many of our TYT viewers know how I feel about this year's presidential election. Yeah, we just don't have good choices this time around, and it really is sad that in the United. States of America, it is coming down to these two people, Biden and Trump. And before people, you know, get all up in a bunch and start uh, clutching pearls, uh, we got one president that is complicit in genocide right now in the Gaza. And then we got another ex president that is just, you know, doing whatever he wants to do, however he wants to do it. Now, to the people in the legal community, because some, or I can also hear my conservative brother saying, you know, that's what the courts are for. And you know what? You're right. That is what the courts are for, and the courts will determine. However, we do know that this system is not equal. It's just not. And, and, and I'm saying this. Sharon, not just because of Donald J. Trump, it is something that we know generation after generation yeah. that the legal system itself needs fix. And this is yet just another example of why it needs fixing. Mm-hmm. It's not fair. And if you are poor and if you are black, especially, we know that the system does not treat you the same systemically. Yeah. Before people mm-hmm. start, I'm talking about system wide, I'm talking right. about not just one offs. I'm talking mm-hmm. about how it was designed. And so yeah. it needs fix. If you are poor, it doesn't work as well for you. Mm-hmm. But if you are wealthy or you can pick up the phone and call an ultra wealthy friend, it works out for you just fine. Yeah. 
Couldn't agree with you more. Um, I pinned my hopes on Letitia James. I picture her getting a manicure and just relaxing herself. She's earned it. Well, she has, you know, one because they let you still have your phone or she has her little, those little AirPods in and she's just directing. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, okay. And we're gonna put a lean here and we'll seize that. It's no problem. She's built for this. And so I can at least look and smile. I sleep good. Sometimes I put on that part where she said, Art of the steel and the way she delivered it. I put it on before I go to sleep. And suddenly it's a peaceful night and I wake up just so refreshed. So thank you, Letitia James. I thank you, New York Attorney General. I don't have to tell her to watch her back, she knows.